check this out. Last week, we were talking about all of the corn sales that were going to unknown destinations. Well, just uh, moments ago, USDA released this information that corrected those numbers. Originally, on November the 18th and November the 19th, USDA said that they had uh, reported a sale of 132,000 metric ton of corn to unknown destinations. Then the following day on November the 19th, 191,000 metric ton of corn to unknown destinations. That was wrong, they say now. And now USDA says it was soybeans. So, yes, the amounts are the same, 191,000 metric ton on one, uh, one trade. The other soybeans... 132,000 metric ton, both of those still to unknown destinations. But instead of being corn, it was actually soybeans. And so far, that doesn't look like it has affected the market too much. But we're going to continue to follow this story because this is kind of a, kind of an important twist, uh, particularly with such large volumes that were reported, uh, reported uh, mistakenly. So. Uh, let's go to the edge of the trading floor and ask what the trade is thinking of all of this. Scott Geekus with Fox Trading is out here with us. Scott, this brand new information here, USDA backs up and says, oops, sorry, that wasn't corn sales last week. A couple of those sales were actually soybeans. Has that changed anything with the way traders think on the, on the floor of the trade today? Uh, not really. So we got a lot of different things moving forward. So that the trade war talks, the headline risk is always going to be rapid moving forward, especially this time. But because of the holiday, the volume's extremely light. There's really not that many people here. Uh, people are pretty much, I would say, at the end of the day today, pretty much are going to be taking the rest of the week off. So we have to wait and see. The, the only big surprise is anything coming out with the trade war talk. So if we have any positive outcomes with the headlines, we expect the markets to react that way. Uh, but it just back and forth rhetoric. We had positive news over the last week. Then we had negative news over the last week. So, I mean, it, it's pretty much a toss up. You know, traders really don't have any indication which way or anything is going you know and that's definitely confirmed with the soybean chart moving drastically to the downside that downtrend is in full effect don't really see a low too much in place uh, the one thing is that is really sparking my interest is even with the downtrend the call skew is definitely to the upside calls to about a little over a dollar worth of premium to the upside calls rather than downside puts so with this big downtrend in the beans, you're still seeing a little bit of optimism in the option market with the skew holding to the call side. What's uh, what's behind wheat that, that you're hearing today? Uh, well, the wheat market is absolutely the star of the show with in as far as the grains. It's been really resilient. It has pretty much strong moves to the upside. Uh, the wheat, uh, we have the weather coming in, uh, delaying the harvest effects. Uh, Russian imports were down a little bit. So there's a little bit of outside factors with the, with the wheat market. Uh, global wheat production is on the decline. That is raising a little bit of concerns, not too many of supply tightening. So that's one of the reasons why you're seeing a little bit of a bump up in price in the wheat market. Scott, we'll take a break and be back in just a moment and visit with you more. Scott Geek is here with us with the Fox Group. More is coming up in just a moment here on the Market Day Report. Cold storage report. All red meat supplies up 1%. Beef was down 1%. Pork up 3%. All of this from a month ago. The pork bellies 13% higher. So, Scott, anything over here in this livestock complex that stands out at you today? Uh, really not that much. So with the cattle on feed report, it came in pretty much neutral. So, But that was definitely, a, a even though the numbers were coming in a little bit neutral, that it, to me that was a little bit bullish only because we were expecting a higher placement number. And with the higher placement number, that was going to be considered as bearish. So with the numbers coming in pretty much in line with no big surprises, that just reiterates that the bullish trend is still going to be intact, as you can see with the price action today. So until something changes, we expect that trend to continue in, in the short term. You know, moving over to the hog complex, I mean, that's going to be completely dictated by the trade war comments and the headlines going back and forth. So the import, Chinese imports for the hog complex, they're up almost 50 percent on, on the year versus last year. So even with the high tariffs, they're still buying U.S. pork, and that's only because of the big African swine fever uh, 
out uh, out in a place and having that dramatic effect globally. So if we do get that positive rhetoric out of the trade war talks, we expect that import campaign to increase or at least stay to stay the course. So okay. uh, we'll see what happens with all that. Scott, thank you very much. Scott Geekus, there in Chicago at the edge of the trading floor. He is with the Fox Group. He's their chief market strategist. All right.